Hi, this is uh, Mike of Premium Crickets. We've got Robert Johnson here, who is the breeder of the Bearded Dragons and the collection. And, of course, my Bearded Dragon, Hoover, is with us. Uh, we wanted to create this short clip to talk about what to do immediately after you have received your Bearded Dragon from us. So, you, you know, typically all these Bearded Dragons are going to ship via a overnight service. We can't do it any longer than overnight, two days, three days, doesn't work. So you're going to get your bearded dragon. It's going to be in an enclosed box. So you're going to open the box up the next day. You order it on a Monday, you're going to get it on a Tuesday. Make sure you're there to receive it. If it sits out all day, that's going to be a problem. So you open it up. What do you do after that, Robert? Okay, like you said, you'll, you'll get your dragon uh, depending on where we're shipping to, uh, before 10.30 a.m. delivery, if it's across the country. Mm -hmm. uh, if the temperatures are high, uh, it'll be standard overnight service if the temperatures are willing. And When you get your Dragon, um, you'll notice that uh, it's packed uh, in, in, in a hot season. It'll be packed uh, in styrofoam and possibly a cold pack on top of some newspaper. That's just to keep the the box cool during shipping because those those shipping trucks get pretty hot sometimes. They get real hot sometimes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So when you first get your dragon, open your box and just just get a feel for what the temperature is inside that box. It should feel at least as cool as where you're standing. Uh, take the dragon out. Uh, room temp temperature or the temperature of his back already. Introduce him in a in, so a, see it. in a small bath. Right. In other words, fill your dragon mm -hmm. and match the water to the dragon, basically. Put him in a small bath. That's to hydrate him because he's been without water for a day, at least. Mm -hmm. uh, hydrate him in a bath about shoulder height. Uh, he'll be a little baby. They can drown, so don't leave him sitting there in the water just watching. If he puts his head down in the water, he'll start drinking. You can see that. Let him drink until he's full. Leave him there about five minutes. Put him in his cage. Uh, basically, leave him alone. Don't introduce food to him or anything yet. Let him get used to his surroundings. This is his new home for a while. Once he gets used to his surroundings, introduce him to some uh, small baby crickets. Uh, if he feeds... Uh, premium crickets. <laughs> premium crickets. Yeah. If, if he feeds, uh -huh. uh, you're set to go. If he don't feed, take the crickets back out or introduce him into a, in a small bin, a feeding bin to feed. But take the crickets back out of the enclosure. Don't let him get stressed by feeders walking around in the enclosure. Give him a day or so to acclimate himself to his enclosure. Make sure he has all the UVB and heat requirements we've talked about before in other clips. Mm -hmm. And just let him acclimate himself to his new surroundings. The next day, try to feed him again. But sooner or later, he'll start feeding again just like normal. Be comfortable. Mm -hmm. So, so from what I hear, the main first thing is you want to give him a bath yeah, to hydrate him. Hydrate your dragon. And then once he, and and how long are you going to keep him in there? About ten about, minutes. About five to ten five, minutes. Five ten minutes. Watching him. Make sure he doesn't put sure. his head below the water and drown the cell. And then put him in inside his enclosure, his cage, and then just slowly introduce him to crickets yeah. initially. So we've talked about on the other videos that when they're real young, they're about 80% protein, mm -hmm. crickets, worms, etc., and 20% vegetarian as they get older, that flips around. Crickets are a, a very good food source for babies just because of the activity of the cricket, too. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're highly nutritious. They're real active. Their baby's looking for movement. And he'll, yeah. he'll chase that cricket down. That cricket's running around. It's easy to see him. He'll chase that cricket down. He wants that cricket, right. mm -hmm. what, what are some potential problems that we're faced with when shipping a bearded dragon? The biggest problem is temperature, uh, delays uh, in yeah. shipping. Yeah. Uh, what I've heard um, talking with uh, other shippers and stuff like that is UPS has a, a failure rate of 2% when it becomes to live animals. Uh, whether I agree with that or not, I don't know. I've only had one shipment of uh, dragons sent to me that 
had uh, numerous uh, casualties. Mm. Uh, the packing of the dragon is important. Uh, you need to look at the route. Uh, you know it's going to be in a hot. Uh, well, track. that's what we look at. Mm -hmm. But as far as, because uh, we're going to have to make some decisions on how to ship this. Mm -hmm. It's always going to be overnight, but is it going to be early morning or not? But it, if somebody opens up their box, what, what are some some problems? What, what could you see where you know, uh-oh, i got a problem? Well, the dragon's been in a small enclosure for mm -hmm. a day. Mm -hmm. He's going to be kind of lethargic. Okay. He's going to be just, just laying there, basically. When you open it up, he's not going to be too active. No, he's not going to be active. Some right. are, some are. But most of the time, they, they've, des they've decided, I can't escape this. I'm just going to lay here. Mm. Uh, that's why we take them out and we hydrate them. Water mm -hmm. kind of gives them a boost, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm awake. I'm in a different place. Now I'm, I'm hydrated. Now mm -hmm. I'm starting to feel good. Mm -hmm. You're kind of, it's kind of like a semi-state of uh, brumation is to put them in a small Yeah, because it's been, like it's been pitch a dark, day. right? Yeah, yeah, for a whole day. Right. And they've been moved around, but they, they have nowhere to go. So they just mm -hmm. kind of lay there and decide, you know, there's it's futile to try to escape just. So for the most part, I mean, and, and I can tell you that thousands and thousands of these bearded dragons are shipped. It's a pretty common Every thing. Every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. uh, for the most part, it does work out. Uh, it works. Unfortunately, it works out. there's problems like in anything, but for the most part, it is a, it's a good way to get a bearded dragon from us to you. Definitely. Right. Right. So... All right, just to summarize, you got your box, open it up, give him a bath, five, ten minutes, put him back into his cage, gradually introduce crickets to him, and get him comfortable with it. And that's pretty much it, isn't it? Pretty simple. Pretty simple. All right, that's uh, the segment on what to do when you get your bearded dragon.